Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, we so wish we could be together in person, uh, but I do want to welcome you to this virtual award ceremony. So parents and siblings, uh, friends, relatives, faculty and staff, uh, and most especially you members of the class of 2020. Wow, you've lived through an extraordinary time and are continuing to live through it uh, each moment. You know, I often think that the that year in which, you know, you have your spring of senior year and your fall of college, that calendar year, it may be one of the most significant years of your life. And while you're living that, you're experiencing all that we're experiencing in this reality today. Kudos to you for doing it with such grace and courage, with such hope and depth. You're really you're inspiring to all of us. So as I said, we wish you could join us tonight uh, in person, but we are together virtually. And that's the most important thing, being together tonight to celebrate the achievements of the class of 2020 and this amazing Fenwick family. So we begin all things at Fenwick uh, in prayer. And tomorrow is the feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, uh, the founder of the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, and Bishop Benedict Joseph Fenwick, was in fact a Jesuit. Ignatius encouraged us to use our imaginations, uh, especially when we pray. Maybe we can imagine being all together, not just virtually, but spiritually tonight as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And this is the prayer of Ignatius. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding and my entire will, all I have and call my own. You have given all to me. To you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace, and that will be enough for me. May that love and grace descend upon us this night and most especially on the members of the class of 2020. We ask this each in his and her own way and I ask it this evening in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So it's my privilege to introduce our extraordinary principal, Ms. Marquez, to begin the awards. Ms. Marquez. Thank you, Mr. Noonan. Good evening, everyone. We wish we could be together. We cannot say that enough times to show how much we miss you. So how can we say goodbye to you when we are all missing celebrating you, dancing with you at Ipswich Country Club or laughing together while wearing a Hawaiian outfit at Kowloon or even giving thanks for all the blessings during our baccalaureate mass. Those are unforgettable moments that we did not get to share. So what makes this moment memorable in a very different way? This is our humble and loving and sincere way of saying until we meet again in the way that your class truly deserves, a memorable class that exuded a joy of life from our very first encounter and the many ones that followed them. Be it a Panera, lunch, having lunch with a student council, and some lovely imposter <clears throat> kind of infiltrating the group, or be it when we met with a football team, my sequoias at Coach Woods' summer cookout, our pre Thanksgiving joyful celebrations, singing with Mr. Wormwood's improvised band performance or fiercely watching you at the powder puff, showing your amazing strength and spirit, showing also your poise and remarkable team spirit during your only performance of Freaky Friday, and even creating a new tradition, the Fenwick Olympics. All along you have embraced your last year at Fenwick with plenty of ideas, dreams, suggestions, an amazing camaraderie, high energy, leaving an indelible legacy for the underclassmen, your remarkable zest for fun, 
and your gusto in living each moment to its fullest. When reflecting on this goodbye, there is so much that we, your teachers, your coaches, the whole Fenwick family want to share with you, wish you. In this case, it's my honor to wish you a happy journey using your Fenwick designed GPS. So here we go, ready to launch your journey? Set your Fenwick GPS. So first, as usual, you have to set a destination, a destination that you can only choose. What is your starting place? Let's decide that you set your Fenwick GPS destination in your 50th reunion. Of course, you don't know where you will be in 50 years from now, but you need to define what type of person you will be. Why does it matter? Well, Alice in Wonderland gives us the answer. When she asked Cheshire the cat, would you tell me please which way I ought to go from here? He responded, that depends a good deal on where you want to get to. I don't much care where, she said. Then it doesn't matter which way to go. So when you determine your destination, doesn't matter what destination you choose, but make sure that you include these Fenwick hallmarks in your destination. Good values, a solid moral anchor, your integrity, your goodness, and your loyalty. So visualize yourself at 68 now in your 50th reunion, and let's start the journey. Departing place, exactly where you are. Launching the journey where you are right now. You will decide what goes into your backpack uh, that you will carry with you every day? Your 2020 vision by now helps you identify your most valuable treasures. After this pandemic, you know and you decide. Your family, your friends, a teacher, a coach, your better book, your favorite book, your dog, <laughs> your call. Remember, only what is truly priceless can fit into your backpack. Ready to start this lifelong adventure? Well, our first stop is July 2024, your special fourth year reunion. This stop might be just after your graduation from college or you're finishing your first job. The first question in getting to this first stop is, will you choose to take roads with toll roads highways with tolls, or avoid these highways and choose the longer way. You conclude that the highways with tolls and clear signs will help you get faster to your destination. What are these highways with tolls in your life? Your good friends who build you up, your caring parents and adults that will continue sharing their advice until the judgment portion of your brain is fully grown. Your mentors and advisors in college and at your professional jobs your Catholic faith that sustains you in moments of darkness. What are these clear signposts in the highway that help you find your way and don't get lost? You welcome a very special sign that says, rest stop, four miles, fortitude, 10 miles. Soon after that, a bridge. These clear signs inspire you to pursue your higher goals, enduring with perseverance, the bumps on the road, the icy patches, the fortitude and the temperance that enable you to achieve noble goals and the loyalty that helps you persevere when launching wise initiatives. Definitely highways with tolls and clear signs with many rest stops along the way set. So we get at our first stop on in 2024, you check your Fenwick GPS, and it tells you that ahead of you is a serious accident that will delay your trip significantly. You are not happy, but you say, I'm not quitting. I survived the pandemic, and I'm not giving in to sadness, definitely no. Instead, you decide to call a friend to keep you company as you sit at a standstill. Who do you call? Who is your friend? Well, 
Aristotle, in the Nicomachean Ethics, described friendships as something reciprocated in goodwill. It is the source of that goodwill that differentiates that perfect friendship from the imperfect forms of friendship. With true friendship, friends love each other for their own sake, and they wish good things for each other. This kind of friendship, says Aristotle, is the only possible, is only possible between good people similar in virtue. Because only good people are capable of loving another person for that person's own sake. But because you went to Fenwick, you have friends that you can call anytime, especially when you get stuck in traffic. On the road again. Next stop, 10 years from now, you're 28, you reach a rest stop on the way. Are your values, your integrity, your pursuit of long-lasting happiness anchored on the same moral values that you wanted for yourself when you were 18? Are you getting closer to embodying that masterpiece that God has envisioned for each of us? Are you still enjoying the beauty of the ride? Beauty matters. Beauty is what delights when we see, and not just from the aesthetic point of view, but also especially from the moral point of view. Beauty is like happiness, love, understanding. It's what the human person was made for. So by now you're 28. Your judgment portion of the brain is fully developed. Your roadmap is clear. You are ready to confront the storms ahead of you. You have the weather forecast, your Fenwick GPS, your loved ones, your desire to become the person God designed you to be. You realize how your teenage years were at times bumpy and even icy. But you had wonderful mentors friends, and goodness accompanying you. So by now you know that living well and acting well are true source of a happy, lifelong journey, of a life worth living. You look at your backpack and you conclude, I chose what really matters. So as we say goodbye, remember to, to pack goodness and loyalty. I guarantee you that you will have no regrets and your backpack will get lighter along the way. Yes, we could not fit, fit in everything we wanted in your backpack, but you are taking all our love with you, wherever you go, we love you. You have a 2020 vision. You know how much your teachers, your coaches, your Fenwick family care and love you. Have a happy and memorable journey. Do not forget, your Fenwick GPS, satisfaction guaranteed, okay? And now we move to the awards portion of this ceremony. It is my honor to introduce the National Merit Students. These students were recognized by the National Merit Scholarship Program as National Merit Commended Students. And the award goes to Abigail Carr, Keenan Green, and Cormac Finchy. The Scholastic Arts Award. This student is recognized for outstanding achievement in art through recognition by the Boston Globe Art Awards. And the award goes to Anna Young, Silver Key Digital Art. Congressional Art Award. Each spring, the Congressional Institute sponsors a nationwide high school visual art competition to recognize and encourage artistic talent in the nation and in each congressional district. The award goes to Corinne Arnhern, honorable mention in mixed media drawing and illustration. National School Choral Award. The National School Choral Award is the highest honor for high school choral performance. It is in recognition of singular merit, ability, and achievement, and of outstanding contributions to the success of the school vocal program. This award is an honored tradition in most public and private schools in the United States. And the award goes to Tessa Tropiano. Recognition for high school scorer on the math team. This award goes to
Chloe Padilla. Saint Genesius Award, named for a fourth century Roman comic actor, Saint Genesius Award is presented to a student who has made unique and outstanding contributions to the Bishop Fenwick drama program, both on and off the stage. This award goes to Marguerite Dunn. John Philippe Sousa Band Award. Introduced in 1955 to honor excellence in high school band programs, the John Philip Sousa Band Award recognizes superior musicianship, outstanding dedication, and it was created with the approval of Helen Sousa Albert and Priscilla Sousa, daughters of the famous composer and band master. This award goes to Maximo Sanchez Salazar. The Director's Award for Band. The Director's Award is presented to a graduating senior band member demonstrating dedication, loyalty, discipline, and leadership in the band. This award goes to Kayla Smith. Athletic Integrity Award. Integrity, an adherence to a code of values, sincerity, honesty, and candor. These characteristics describe the recipients of this award as they are seen on the athletic field. This award goes to Maria O'Donnell and Thomas Stella. Student Athlete Award. This award is given to the students who best combine athletic talent with academic ability. The recipients are honor students who have demonstrated ability both on the field and in the classroom. This award goes to Kaylin Wesley and Joseph Rivers. The Notre Dame Award. The Notre Dame Award is named for the Sisters of Notre Dame who were the first sisters to staff Bishop Fenwick. This award is given to a female member of a sports team who demonstrates spirit, determination, and example rather than just ability. This award goes to Grace Kubat. The Donaldson Award. The Donaldson Award is named after Stephen Donaldson a member of the class of 1964. This award is given to a member of a sports team who demonstrates spirit, determination, and example rather than just ability. This award goes to Jake Miano. Academic Excellence Awards. For academic excellence in the various academic disciplines, these are the awards. Academic Excellence in English, the award goes to Emma Siankowicz. Academic excellence in the, in the science, sorry, fine arts. The award goes to Keenan Green. The academic excellence in foreign languages. The award goes to Abigail Carr. Academic Excellence in Math. The award goes to Maya Khan. Academic Excellence in Science. The award goes to Maya Khan. Academic Excellence in Social Studies. The award goes to Hannah Kubat. Academic Excellence in Theology. The award goes to Isabella Favo. And now Mr. Noonan will continue um, the celebration. Thank you. These next three recipients would have been recognized during the school year. The awards they are receiving are designated by the respective donors for scholarships at Bishop Fenwick. The funds committed by the donor help to support the recipient's education here at Fenwick 
And like so many awards announced tonight, the legacy of the donor lives on in the person of the recipient. What a beautiful and powerful expression of the Fenwick family. The Katie Ward Class of 85 Memorial Scholarship. Always willing to offer a helping hand and a listening ear, Katie Ward touched people's lives in so many ways. Her beautiful smile inspired others to appreciate the simple joys in life. Dedicated to service and all that she did, she carried the special spirit with her all the way to the Peace Corps long after leaving Bishop Fenwick. This scholarship is given annually to a young woman who exemplifies Katie's spirit and her love of Fenwick. Congratulations to Catherine Clancy. The Reverend Richard Messina Scholarship. Father Messina served Bishop Fenwick with a unique level of commitment as both chaplain and guidance director. His personal style offered a rare connection between our faith and living the gospel message daily. Father Dick's spirit lives on at Bishop Fenwick, imparting the lessons of friendship, service, and faith that we teach each day. This scholarship stands as a constant reminder of the commitment that Father Dick had to Fenwick during his entire tenure here. Congratulations to Hannah Cormier. The Wood Family Scholarship. The family and friends of Peter Wood established this scholarship to honor Peter's unlimited commitment to friendship and family. Peter embraced life with a warm smile and gentle spirit that taught us all to treasure the time we have with each other. This scholarship will be awarded annually to a student who most exemplifies school spirit, love of family, friends, music and sports, and the courage to never give up. Congratulations to Lucy Dugan. These next awards have been created by Fenwick families in memory of their loved ones to provide a small scholarship stipend to the recipient for college expenses. The Helen Gajewski Memorial Scholarship Award. This memorial scholarship was established by Patricia Gajewski Vega, class of 1974, and members of the Gajewski family in loving memory of their mother, Helen. The recipients this year are Margaret Campbell and Emma Sinkowitz. The Ross Kachopoulos Memorial Scholarship. Ross was a graduate of the class of 2001, whose life was cut short by a motorcycle accident in California at the age of 20. This scholarship, established by Ross's family and friends, is given to the student who exemplifies determination and dedication to school, sports, and service. This year, the award goes to Catherine Leelman and Rebecca Leelman. The James Brady Memorial Scholarship. Mr. Brady was instrumental in bringing to fruition the athletic complex here at Bishop Fenwick. This scholarship established in memory of Jim by his wife, Mary Beth, and the Brady family and friends, stands as a lasting tribute to his spirit of service and selfless commitment to others. Congratulations to Chloe Padilla and Peter O'Brien. The Christine O'Donnell Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship fund was established by Christine's family as a living tribute to Chris, who lost her life in a tragic automobile accident after her sophomore year. Chris's place, the courtyard between the chapel and the lectures, stands as a reminder of Chris's smile and offers a quiet space for students and faculty. The O'Donnell Award this year goes to Maria O'Donnell. The 
the Leslie Ann Oliver Memorial Scholarship. Leslie's parents established this scholarship and her memory to keep alive the hope, the joy, and the innocence of youth she left behind. The scholarship is awarded to the student who possesses an open and friendly manner and has contributed to the Bishop Fenwick community in a positive and supportive way. Congratulations to Anna Young and Cormac Hinchy. The Albert Plant Scholarship. Mr. and Mrs. Ronald Plant established this scholarship in memory of Mr. Plant's father, Albert, and to remember the importance his father placed on education and the spirit of learning found here at Bishop Fenwick. Congratulations to the recipient this year, Isabella Fabo. The Sister Mary Louise Burns Scholarship a sister of Notre Dame who taught at Fenwick for many years, Sister Mary Louise Burns, as she was known to her students, Sister ML, inspired academic excellence as well as school participation. The Sister ML Burns Scholarship is awarded to the student who embodies a commitment to all aspects of Fenwick life as a worker, as a participant, and as a spectator. Congratulations this year to Allison Teal and Thomas Estella. The Howard T. Cormack Award. Howard was a graduate of the class of 1967, and this memorial award was established by Dr. Andrew Rosenfeld in memory of Howard's boundless service to school and country. This award is given yearly to a student who exemplifies leadership, patriotism, and active participation in school and community activities. This year's recipient is Hannah Kubat. These final awards recognize individual students for their unique, consistent, exemplary, and outstanding contributions to our Fenwick community and beyond. The Sister Margaret Melville SND Award Sister Margaret had a great love for education and delighted in watching all of her students move forward to new heights. We are pleased to honor in her memory this year, Ocean Guru. The Bishop Fenwick Student Council Scholarship, awarded to a student who has contributed much to the Bishop Fenwick community through the Student Activities Council Congratulations to Adriana Brent. The National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizens Award. This award and scholarship contest was created in 1934 and is intended to encourage and reward the qualities of good citizenship. This award recognizes and rewards individuals who possess the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism in their homes, schools, and communities. These students are selected by their teachers and peers because they demonstrate these qualities in an outstanding way. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Hannah Kubat. The O'Rourke Service Award. This award is named after Sister Madeline O'Rourke and Sister Julienne O'Rourke, who were sisters of Notre Dame, as well as sisters in their own family. This award is given to a student who has selflessly given long hours of time and dedicated service to Bishop Fenwick, as well as to the community. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Stephanie Steridi. The Sister Julie Billiard Award. This award is named after the foundress of the Sisters of Notre Dame de Muir and is named, is given rather, each year to a student who represents a sincere dedication to excellence, who possesses a realistic vision and hope for the future, and who is thoroughly engaged in life. 
just like the Sisters of Notre Dame de Nemours. Congratulations this year to Abigail Carr. And finally, the Bishop Benedict Joseph Fenwick Award. This award, usually given at commencement, is given each year to the male and female student who have committed over their four years to serve the school community, to embrace the crusader spirit, and to live the Fenwick mission. These students have shown the leadership and dedication, the scholarship and compassion necessary to create an environment where all students can seek and achieve excellence intellectually, creatively, morally, and spiritually, recognizing their responsibility to serve others and to improve our world. Our congratulations to this year's recipients, Maya Kanj and Nick Park. It is now my pleasure to introduce our beloved faculty member and resident Hawaiian expert, Mr. David Dugan, to present the Class of 2020 Senior Superlatives and how fitting it is that as I bring up Mr. Dugan in his Hawaiian shirt, it is torrential downpours right outside of our space. Please welcome Mr. Dugan. Thank you, Mr. Noonan, Ms. Marquez. You were probably sitting there looking at me going, why is Mr. Dugan in a Hawaiian shirt when Ms. Marquez and Mr. Noonan look so nice, and what is he doing? Well, unfortunately, we can't be at Kowloon to do these together, so we figured that we would do them tonight as a class after the academic awards. But before I give out these superlatives, I would like to say happy birthday to Abby Carr. And I'd like to wish everyone who had a birthday from March 13th and throughout this whole summer and before you guys head off to college. So if you had a birthday then, if you have a birthday this summer, happy birthday, enjoy it. And let me just send my congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys were phenomenal to work with all year. You were resilient. You did things that no class will ever do and you will go down in history as one of the most unique and strongest class Fenwick has ever had. I would also like to recognize Allison Teal for her hard work and dedication on the yearbook. When you guys come in on your pick a time and you pick up your yearbook, and if you get a chance to send a thank you to Allison, please do. She did an unbelievable job of getting the yearbook together this year, and we'd just like to recognize her real quickly. This class, you guys have also started a new tradition. You guys, like no other class before, has decided on faculty superlatives. And I figured I would give those out first and do the student superlatives last. And you had some interesting categories. I have to say this is a little weird. Normally, we're, we're at Kowloon and people are you know, yelling and screaming and having a good time. And it's really weird doing this in the quietness of the new space, but we'll get through it. The first faculty superlative is most likely to be your friend on Facebook. I'm not really sure if this is a creepy award or a real award, but that award goes to Ms. Sheila Foley. Most likely to win Jeopardy. You all know him as the big train from Sanford, Maine, Mr. Wormwood. Most likely to give unwanted advice. Also goes to Mr. Wormwood. Most likely to win Hunger Games or to show you how to kill someone with three fingers in your government class. That goes to Mr. Kaczynski. Most likely to give a pop quiz. That goes to Mr. Caniff. The teacher who tells the most interesting stories should come as no surprise to the class of 2020. That would be Mr. K. And most likely to brighten your day. There was a three teacher tie with Mrs. Joan Rich, Ms. Mazzeo, and myself. Most likely to eat his lunch in class while teaching. That goes to the recently retired Mr. Kevin McCarthy. Most likely to spill their coffee while teaching. Goes to Ms. Mazzeo. 
most likely to be mistaken for a student, Mr. Sousa. The teacher who has the scariest death glare, unfortunately his death glare was so scary, he actually left, and that would be Mr. Grocky. Most likely to give homework on the weekend. Sorry, Mr. Caniff, but this one goes to you. Most likely to be called mom or dad, and since it's my favorite thing to be called in the world, that came to me. The dynamic duo, you know them in room 320 and 322. They're either complaining about something or laughing with each other, Mr. K and Mr. Harrington. And the teacher who is the most chill goes to Mr. DiLorenzo. And now to the class superlatives. Class clown, Ava Mahoney and David Sifuentes. The class flirt goes to Lily Farrell and Dan McGrath. Best smile goes to Gabriella Fabazuski and Kyle Thomas. Best eyes goes to Kat Clancy and Joe Rivers. Best hair, Isabella Mariachi and Jake Murphy. Best looking on a Zoom class, Bella Giublio and Nico Pesciuto. I don't know what a glow up is, but the, person, the two people who won the best glow up were Kiki Coleman and Diego Alvarez Segui. Most athletic is voted on by you guys, Kaylin Wesley and Joe Rivers. Most Fenwick Spirit, Adriana Brent and Nick Park. Most likely to succeed, Maya Kanj and Keenan Green. The life of the party, Megan Costello and Diego Alvarez Segui. Most likely to be late to a Zoom class, goes to Kayla Smith and Cormac Hinchy. The cutest couple, Sometimes this can be the kiss of death for you two, but Sidney Colbert and Ian Worthley. Best bros, David Sifuentes and Robbie Favuza. Best car goes to Julia Scalzo and Nico Pesciuto. A future soccer mom or hockey dad goes to Caitlin Clark and Ian Worthley. Most friendly, Marie O'Donnell. Most likely to be on Broadway, Tessa Tropiano and Maggie Dunn. Should have been sisters, and this is weird because one of them has a twin, but Hannah Kubat and Anna Young. Worst parking every morning goes to Mary Dentremont. And most likely to work and come back and work at Bishop Fenwick goes to Tessa Tropiano. Class of 2020, I hope you are enjoying your summer. We wish you nothing but the best in the future. Good luck with your plans, whether you're heading off to college or you're going to work or you're heading into the military. It has been a pleasure being your senior class advisor, and we hope you guys come back often, and we'll see you at some point in the near future. And now I'll turn it over to Mr. Noonan for the final remarks. Well, thank you, uh, Ms. Marquez, for your opening remarks and for sharing the awards with us. And most especially, thank you for Mr. Dugan for his humor and his grace and his uh, uncompromising style. Uh, I, I think I need that shirt. So uh, I have been thinking and praying about uh, you know, what to share with all of you as we conclude this last official uh, ceremony for the class of 2020. And, and I was also thinking about, as Mr. Dugan alluded to, what, what would your teachers say? You know, they wish they could be with you in person. They wish they could uh, shake your hands and, uh, and, and share a goodbye hug and, and be with you to commemorate this extraordinary moment in your lives and, and the lives of your families. What would they say? And, um, and I found myself thinking about Ignatius again because I, I think in many ways he gives voice to what your teachers and coaches and mentors and moderators might share with you this evening. And so just very briefly, one of his great quotes, love is shown more in deeds than in words. And you all know that, right? You, you appropriately 
loathe hypocrisy. You know that it's not what one says that matters, it's what one does. And what you did, as Ms. Marquez and Mr. Dugan alluded to earlier this evening, what you did here at Fenwick has been awesome. So continue to be awesome. Continue to let your love show, your virtue show, your character and integrity, your faith and hope show through your actions, through all the little gestures and through all the small interactions that you have with everybody you meet, let that love show through your deeds. The second I find particularly appropriate for life today, and I, I've studied Ignatius and I actually didn't know that this was attributed to him because uh, I think of it often. Act as if everything depends upon you and trust as if everything depends upon God. Sometimes you hear people say, work as if everything depends upon you. Pray as if everything depends upon God. That's great advice. Work hard, just like you've done these four years here at Bishop Fenwick, and most especially this past spring when uh, virtual learning set in. Push yourself, seek excellence, strive always for what's good and right and true. Never stop. And then trust, pray, and leave the rest up to God. Finding that balance is a great way to make sense of this current reality. Three. Ignatius, famous for saying, go forth and set the world on fire. And that's what I hear all of your teachers and coaches saying to you. Go forth, be a shining light. We need your energy and enthusiasm, your spirit and strength, your persistence and passion in this world. Now more than ever, be a fire of change and be a source of hope and healing in this broken world. You can do it. In fact, nobody can do it like you. And finally, in the spirit really of the senior superlatives, Ignatius was a great fan of connection and community, brotherhood and sisterhood. And he was a great fan of having fun. And so Ignatius said, laugh and grow strong. So we want you to do that. Laugh and grow strong, and I'll just add one more thing. Laugh, grow strong, and come back. Come back to see us. We're here in this new space, and I can't help but think of standing up on this landing here, and I think it was Mrs. Vigneron who was up there at the time, and all of you had just come out of the auditorium. You were the first people to be in this space. We gathered you all around so you could take a photo looking up at that landing there, and we got you all in. Wow, we really miss seeing you all in and all together. So even though you may be a little bit apart tonight, carry with you that feeling, that sense that you're really all in, all in together, all in for Fenwick all part of this Fenwick family. Congratulations to you, to your families, to all of you in the class of 2020. God's grace and God's speed be with you. Have a great night, and remember, come back often. Take care.